Welcome back now to Business News. The Renewable Readiness Assessment Report launched today aims to reshape the energy landscape and in turn provide significant opportunities for businesses. The recommendations in the report are in seven key areas. Opening the electricity market to independent producers could foster competition, potentially reducing energy costs for businesses. Furthermore, innovative financing mechanisms are proposed aiming to reduce donor dependence and create sustainable investment plans. This could provide businesses with access to financial resources for renewable energy projects. The introduction of electric vehicles is also on the horizon. Pilot programs, technical insights and private sector participation could lead to a significant reduction in transportation costs for businesses. Partnerships are emphasized not only locally but also globally. Strong collaborations with regional institutions and research agencies could bring about innovative solutions, potentially lowering costs through shared resources and knowledge. These recommendations highlight a clear path towards sustainability, resilience and cost effectiveness for businesses. This transition to renewable energy may require initial investments, but the long-term benefits promise a more stable and environmentally friendly business environment. Gina Kekea, Tavuli News. In congratulating New Zealand on Waitangi Day celebrations in Honiara, caretaker Foreign Affairs Minister Jeremiah Manele said he welcomed the proposal by New Zealand's Foreign Affairs Minister Winston Peters to visit Solomon Islands this year. Manele said his visit will allow the signing of a revised bilateral air services agreement and for the country to take stock of the 150 million Solomon dollars per year across various sectors. He said Solomon Islands remains committed to reviewing the 2019-2023 partnership statement with New Zealand.